<laughs> All righty then. A little atmospheric workout, Bob. Ooh, I like Look that. Look at this bar. What right do you is. think? What do you think the uh, weight of this is, Dwayne? Oh, gee. It can't Here, be hold much. Out your hand. Can't that, be much because you're lifting it. That's right. That, that must be at least one or two atmospheres. I think it's one atmosphere. Uh -huh. That would make it uh, how many pounds? 14.7. Oh, 14.7. 14.7 pounds. On Plus, that I got the 14 inch. per seven above that of the air. Well, don't get too much under oh. pressure, Dwayne. Okay. I claim, or people claim anyway, much better, smarter than me, that there are 14.7 pounds per square inch pushing down in every inch of your body due to the atmosphere. Now, you can't feel that because the pressure on the inside is the same as the outside. Now, if somebody stuck a vacuum hose down your mouth and pulled a vacuum, that would be a bad thing because you'd, you'd be crushed by the atmospheric pressure. Luckily, we're not going to do that. So today, instead, we're going to show you the force of this atmospheric pressure, this ocean of air above our heads, with three successive demonstrations, each one a little bit bigger and a little bit more graphic. Bob's going to start out with this Georgia peach. This is probably the simplest one and really quite easy to do. I've got a uh, Georgia peach green tea with ginseng and peach juice to take a look at here. It looks pretty delicious. Pretty delicious. I'm going to put inside this can a little bit of water. Actually, this is a carefully measured amount. It's some. That's, that's a metric unit, some. some. Yeah. You add them together and you get it's more. Like more. six or seven sums yeah. is a pinch. Okay, so I want to heat this over the flame for a while. It'll be ready to go when I get a nice vigorous steam coming out of the top. Bob, Should is take that a minute really or two. steam? Or is that a colloidal dispersion mm -hmm. of water droplets? Yes. Yes. There you go. See, steam, you can't see. Those little fog you see, or vapor, that's really wa small water droplets. That's something completely different, sort of. And that's certainly more information than you'll ever want. <laughs> I think we can start you to all see that. Up, that's yeah, a colloidal dispersion. They're starting to look pretty good. And we'll give it just a little bit more time. Now, what's going to happen in a second is I'm going to take this over and invert it in the ice water. The can right now is filling up with water vapor or steam. And when I flip it over inside there, that's going to condense. It's going to lower the pressure inside the can. The pressure on the outside is going to remain at about 14.7 pounds per square inch. And hopefully we'll see something pretty interesting when that happens. And I think I'm probably about ready for that. It's soup. Let's focus on the tray and where I flip the can over. And here we go. Ooh! Oh! That was just peachy. Gee. Oh, I feel crushed. You crushed that can. Gee. Right, let's pull Be that nice. out of there. Does pull orange crush work better? <laughs> that Water would be good out. to try. Yeah. Dwayne, uh, what yeah. about that can? Well, can you do a can can, Dwayne? Oh, yes, I, I can do can cans, hey. <laughs> Done no, can please, can. please, that's enough. Oh, okay. All right. This time, we're going to try a one gallon can. You want to have a gallon can that has not had any flammable liquids or so in it. <laughs> that could be a bad thing. That would be a bad thing. What we're going to try and do is get this thing boiling pretty good. Now, in Bob's case, the bottom of the can was open, but it got crushed because it was so quick the water couldn't get in and fill it right away. In this case, we're going to cap this and put it in the cold water. And uh, that way, water can't come in and the air will just have to crush the can. Now, it's not really ready yet, so I'll give it just a hair of time here. One, one thing you can have your students do is you can have them do, obviously, the can that Bob was using or just an ordinary soda can and have them try to explain on a molecular level what's happening inside the can before, during, and after the experiment. So you can make a three-panel drawing and see if they can explain at a molecular level what's going on. That's a nice thing to do. Now, it's not really rolling yet. We want, we like a that rolling boil. Well, Dwayne, yeah. that's because you're a chef, right? Well, yes. It's... You understand what a rolling boil means. Oh, By the yeah. way, while Dwayne's boiling there, I'll tell you a little story. If you look at a can that's boiling, a pan on the stove, you'll always see those bubbles coming from the same area in the pan. There are scratches in the bottom of the pan, and that's where nucleation sites can form, and that's where the bubbles originate from. 
Have I stalled long enough? I think it should be ready by okay. now. We're going to try it. Okay. I'm going to get it over here, and I'm going to cap this like that, nice and tight. And we'll put it in the ice to help it a little bit. Oh! <laughs> well, that's fairly impressive. There we go. Say. You put this down. I'm sick of oh, carrying that. Oh, that poor can. You know? I'll bet you that even now, the pressure inside is not as great as the atmospheric pressure. Really? Do you want I, to open it up? I bet you if we open that up, we can probably hear it. You know? Let's see. What will we hear? Will we hear a or a Will the vacuum Ooh. will the vacuum leak out? Probably. Will it leak out or leak in? That's the question. That's the question. Let's see what we can do here. Let's try and do this. Okay. Doesn't help if you tighten it. <laughs> no. I think maybe the seal is there. Aha, guess what? <laughs> There's another seal on There's it. There's another seal. <laughs> so if we take this seal off, let's see if we can hear anything. Let's hope it's not a seventh seal. Oh, whoa! Oh, oh. Was that the like air that. rushing in or the vacuum leaking oh. out? That's something for okay. you and your instructor exactly. to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over here we have the kind of gigantic drum. Bob, you know what we could use? A drum roll. Oh, before we this do this biggie. one, this is about two feet across. Two, oh, here yeah. comes Bob and the drum roll. Hey, that's All a right. good one. Now we got this in a cafeteria. This is what the soup comes in every day, and you're in a high school cafeteria. They deliver it in like 55-gallon drums, I'm sure. You can see the uh, water vapor coming out the top. Inside is some real steam. Here we have a colloidal dispersion of water droplets. We're heating the snot out of it with this big camping stove. We're going to seal it up. Yeah. That's hot. We're going to seal it up, and I'm going to tighten it down. So, Bob, you lucky devil, and Dwayne, you got some gloves on. You guys are going to hold it. Dwayne maybe wants to put that cap on there as best he can. <clears throat> then we're going to set the can on the edge here as best we can. Are we ready? We're ready, Dwayne. All right, let's see, you're gonna, all right, tighten that down. Here, you may wanna, let's see if we can get it started. Get it started. There it is, it's starting. Okie dokie, that's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, anytime you wanna finish that up. Yes. Yeah, it's okay you don't wanna eat the can yeah. <laughs> when it's like that. Okay, where are we setting it? We're setting it on right the edge here. here. One I more, Bob. It. Yeah, we need to make sure it's good and tight first. Though. That's right. Oh, I think that'll do Looks it. Looks good. There, right on the edge. We're going to shut the stove off. That's and a good thing. And we're going to move. And we're going to move. Now, this can is interesting. Each can is slightly different. Thick ones take a little bit longer. Thinner cans are much shorter. Keep in mind, there are 14.7 pounds on every square. I'm going to be back here. 14.7 pounds on every square inch of this can. You can do the math. Figure it out. Maybe there's two feet. Assume three feet. You can do the calculation of the volume exposed to the atmosphere. All right. Of the surface area, I should say, that's exposed to the atmosphere. And you can figure out how much pressure is on there. This is a good can. It's really doing a nice dance there. We've got some ice, don't we, guys? Yeah. Let's get some why, ice. Why am I over here and you're walking away? Because I'm scared <laughs> to death. All right, Bob, pour that ice on top and see if we can't speed things, speed things up. It's, it's probably enough, don't you think? Don't like that sound. Yeah, I think I'm going to get out of oh, <laughs> You know what, Bob? That was enough. Yes. <laughs> I think you might be right. Oh, talk about depressing. 
<laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, that was. <laughs> you guys all right back there? I think we'll call it a quits. Thank you. <laughs> listen, hold on, listen. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. I think. I think it's a nice first, coffee table. Well, no, did you hear it? It Careful. was sprung a leak. You, you could hear the. I think no. I think that was the water boiling inside. It's tight. Still, the pressure oh, the went pressure down. went down. Yeah. Pressure went down. I think it's down. still making some funky noises there. Yeah. Yes. This is when one wants to be very, very careful. Not put your hands anywhere where yeah. you could possibly get it kinked. Come in. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Did you, did you put somebody in there? <laughs> you know what, Irene? It's those boiling chips. <laughs> She said, I put some boiling chips in there. We've never done that experiment. This is a new experiment. I think that's kind of musical almost. It's all tapped out. And it trashed my stove. <laughs> Why do we have to put it out? It puts the stove out too. All right, Very nice.